EVE Online has the deepest and most dynamic economy ever seen in a game, rivaled only by real life. Industry is the backbone of every economy, and in Creus, we're overhauling the entire industrial experience. We're making it more accessible and engaging than ever before, while maintaining the challenges and complexities of trying to beat the market. Let's see what the developers have in store. We're starting with removing slots, which we really feel were a barrier to a lot of new players getting into industry. Now you can manufacture whatever you like, wherever you like, uh, just at the cost of maybe some of your profit margins in particularly busy systems. We're also cutting out a lot of what we call bad complexity. So that is things like extra materials or the wastage or damage to RAM and RDB components and being able to research blueprints beyond their optimal levels. And these are all being either removed or simplified. Uh, what we're leaving behind is what is really the core of industry, which is uh, very interesting problems to solve, such as what should I be building and where should I build it? Uh, the user interface is also being completely revamped and we are going to give you a lot more immediate feedback. Uh, things such as what skills are affecting my material requirements or whether I have access to the corporation hangar or wallet divisions and other stuff like how invention probability is calculated. We're also remembering a lot of your previous settings. So things such as how many runs you'd like to produce of a blueprint and what output container you'd like the product to go to. So installing repeat jobs is going to require a whole lot less clicking. The end result is an interface which is a whole lot more discoverable and accessible for players who are new to industry and a whole lot more efficient for the industry veterans. We're replacing the industry slot modifier system with a cost scaling formula. The more manufacturing you do in a system, the more the cost of manufacturing in that system is. We're also adding team of workers which can affect the jobs that you're doing in that system. Each team member either affects the time it takes to do a job or the material the job requires. It is also limited to what blueprints it could work on. For example, it can work on marauders or it can work on all large class ships. You can acquire a team to your system via auction and if you can get that team to your system, anybody can benefit from it and use it in their jobs. We've also made numerous changes to reprocessing, including a total overhaul of the UI as well as some new reprocessing structures. Finally, almost everything related to industry is getting a balance pass. So reprocessing uh, or refining and compression, uh, star-based structures used to manufacture things, as well as all the blueprint material requirements, copy and research times, and how invention works. And we're not done with this. You can expect a whole lot more rebalancing work for industry in the releases later this year.